Let me give you the exact five step sequence USMLE will test for hyponatremia, which will add at least two to three points on your USMLE exam. Step one, when you get a patient with hyponatremia on their labs is to confirm whether if it's real hyponatremia, look at the serum osmolality. If it is normal or high, think pseudo hyponatremia or hyperglycemia. If it is low, that is true hypotonic hyponatremia. Step two, check how sick the patient is. Are they having seizures, coma or severe confusion? That's emergency hyponatremia. You have to give hypertonic 3% saline slowly in the ICU if that is the case, you correct carefully to avoid osmotic demyelination. Step three, look at the volume status. Are they dry? Are they normal? Or are they overloaded on water? So that's hypovolemic, euvolemic or hypovolemic hyponatremia. That split decides for the next move. Step four, treat by volume category. If they're in hypovolemic and hypotensive state, you give isotonic normal saline. If they're euvolemic with high urine sodium and high urine osmolality, think SIADH and you treat with fluid restriction and sometimes salt tablets or a Vapten drug. If they are hypervolemic, with edema and JVD, think heart failure, cirrhosis and nephrotic syndrome and you treat with fluid and salt restriction plus diuretics. Step 5. Always fix the cause. Is it pneumonia or a CNS issue causing the SIADH, heart failure causing fluid overload, thiazides causing salt loss? 